Hi, welcome folks to some view of Lego. There's no music right now. I'm setting up the things. Gonna go and post here and there and boom. I have to tap into the game in order to get the sound. This is Fury of Dracula, the digital, ed digital edition. Hold on, let me start. I'm gonna record this. Well, not right now. Fury of Dracula, the digital ed edition, a game out by Nomad Games. Um, it's a board game that has been adapted. This edition makes sense. And, um, What was I gonna say? It's been adapted by Nomad Games, who also made Talisman, the board game digital edition. A really good quality company. I've been beta testing with them, and it's been a pretty rough ride. They had to delay the game because of so many bugs. Today we will try to break the game, do our best, uh, and, and see if we can. Hopefully we can. It, it looks like they've ironed out most of the issues that were. The AI is was pretty terrible. Hopefully it has improved. Either way, the intent here is to show you guys the game. So before we go in, let's take a little look at what there's in this digital edition here. Uh, we've got the library down here, which is really nice. You can go and check out all the decks that are in the game. Very cool. Character sheets, event cards, so on and so forth. You can browse them. Yes. And the UI, I'm still not a super big fan of the UI, but you can go, say, feed, find the card, search for it. it it's functional and relatively smooth. Alright. That doesn't explain all the rules, so if you're learning this at home, the way you learn how to play is you go in here. There's tutorials, 100 tutorials and what for Dracula. And then YouTube videos and guys, with reference and game manual. I I I don't I I know I play the, the board game like a, a lot, so I know all the rules. And the game does too. So hopefully we don't won't need them. But this is where you would go to check it out yourself. And it's an Ashen Corners uh, secret movement game where Dracula is trying to escape um, the hunters that are then hunting him. Uh, and it's based on Bram Stoker's uh, old book, Dracula. Um, Anything else to note here? No, I'm just checking that everything is working. Looks like everything's fine. All right, we'll go in here and say play local game. There's all online multiplayer, of course. Uh, the, right now, you can only play two players, which is one play, player plays Dracula and the other player plays the Hunters. And I thought we would start by playing Dracula ourselves, so that I can show you what the secret movement part is before we play the Hunters and try to then find Dracula after the fact. Now the Hunters are pretty bad. Like Again, they might have updated the AI, it's been a few weeks since I played. And so, anything else to note, you can check some boxes off here if you want to turn off some of the rules. I, I don't know why you would, you would want to play with all the things most of the time, I think. So. Let's just dive in. Right, and it's uh, it's Van Helsing, Mina Harker, Dr. John Seward, and Lord Godalming are the hunters that try to find and hunt down Dracula. I suppose but quickly we should cover the wind conditions. We can do that when we come in here. Du -du -du -du. The music is really good. They put a lot of effort into that, and it's really nice. There we go. All right, we have to select a starting city for Dracula. Let me just go ahead and do that. There, we can see where the hunters... So if you're sitting around a, a, a table, that's how you gotta imagine this, this game was usually played anyway. So then um, Dracula is, sees all and he knows, he hears all. He has uh, eyes and ears everywhere across the entire Europe. He talks to animals and he has uh, ghouls and, and people that work for him or like are hypnotized. And so he sees... He, the uh, the hunters are not allowed to like uh, have secret conversations. He hears everything. They have to talk across the table, and usually they have to do everything on the board and show everything, so that the regular player knows what's going on. The first thing that happens in the game is that the hunters places their hunters on the starting locations, wherever they want. They can choose wherever they want to spread out and cover a large area, and then Dracula places his. Uh, token. Well, he doesn't play his, his token. He places his token up here, and then we play a card with the name of one of the cities on it. 
And so we will do exactly that. Now, none of them went to England, which means it's usually a good idea to go and set up Dracula in England so that at least they have to sail to come up and find us. On the other hand, Dracula does not like sailing and eventually we would have to leave the United Kingdom and come to the mainland Europe, which we would we'll take damage for sailing. So that can be pretty rough. But that's probably what we'll do. We can also sit down here in Italy, far away from everyone. I don't know. Well, I'll, let's go to Britain. And let's just sit down here. Plymouth Place, Dracula in Plymouth. Yes. So it looks like he's on Plymouth here, but that's not how it actually works. Now they are taking their turns. And I will explain all the things in time. Don't you worry. So. Okay, now Manning is... Now, okay. <laughs> and he plays a card. They didn't find anything. Oh, they found the same card again. Alright, so he, they get to guess two cities. And if they guess correctly, I have to show them where I am. They didn't guess me in either of them. Here's a card for me. That we have to play immediately. Okay, it's going a little bit faster than I can explain stuff. But here we have a card that I'm getting because they're doing something. Vampiric Influence, play immediately, so I have to play it immediately. Choose one weakened hunter. The hunter reveals all their items uh, and event cards. Choose one to discard of those cards, then move that hunter to an adjacent city. And we haven't bitten anyone yet. Or as A weakened hunter is someone who has been bitten by Dracula at least once. And if you know the story uh, of Bram Stoker's Dracula, then Minahaka, before this game starts, we have we have already had Minahaka under our control at one time in the story, and so she's weakened always. So there's only one choice for us, and that is Minahaka, she's already been bitten. And here we see her special abilities. We'll submit that, and then she's got no cards to discard, of course, because Lily's just started, but we get to move her to a, di a different city, so we can like move her in here, sure. Yes. And then it's her turn, she's receiving a card. Alright. So now we are Dracula. The first card that we played is up here. It looks like the token is here on Plymouth. The opponent player would not be able to see me on Plymouth. He would just see me putting down a card up here. If you click that one, that's the Plymouth card. Right? So this is how we move around. And if we break... In the board game, if we break the rules, you get punished if, if the hunters ever discover that you have made an, an, uh, an illegal path, but in the game, of course, you can't put cards that doesn't link to cities. So, this is like our movement track up here. Hidden movement. Then the game is played over a series of weeks. I think it's three weeks until Dracula starts effectively winning really, really quickly. The days are tracked up here. Right now it is Monday night. Every turn starts with the hunters moving during day, then it switches to dusk, and during dusk there may be battles, then it goes to night, then the hunters have a night turn, and after the hunters have completed a night turn, then Dragonlet has his one turn, and then it goes to dawn, in which there might be fights or other things again going on. D dusk and dawn are like intermediary res resolution phases, and then it goes to day on the next day, and so on and so forth. During the days, the hunters can move and do well all the actions. Uh, and during the night, they can only uh, they can do all the actions except moving. You cannot travel during night nighttime. All right, so they've got that covered. That's like the base of it. The, the thing that they were doing, they were moving during day, and then during night, they were resupplying. And when you resupply, you draw cards from both the item deck here and the event deck over here. The cool thing about this game is when you draw event cards, you draw from the bottom of the deck so you can't see the uh, the face of the card, the back of the card. And you draw it from the bottom of the deck, you look at the card, and then if it has a hunter back, then the hunter gets the card. If it has a Dracula back, then you get the card, like the Dracula gets the card. And there is 25 Dracula cards and 50 Hunter cards in the deck, so the Hunters are incentivized to draw from the deck, but sometimes the Dracula gets something out of it. So that's kind of a cool little thing. 
The other one is the item cards, and they just are stuff that can, uh, the hunters can either use to find Dracula, or to travel around, or to kill the Dracula, or, or, or one of his minions in combat. So that's the gist of the hunters. Now it's Dracula's turn. Us. And during Dracula's turn, we can do moves, and we can do special. Special being a power. We have five powers that you need to know and understand. Some of them are more useful than others. Dark Hole, I don't think I have ever played Dark Hole, but I can see why sometimes you might want to. So, let's quickly go over those, I suppose. I'm feeling like I'm doing this in a bad order, but whatever. When you place this card on the trail, this is instead of your movement, you suffer two damage out of your 15 total health and draw five encounter cards. We'll cover what those are later, but th this is to... If you have like a really trash hand of encounter cards, you can use Dark Hall to refresh it, which might be useful if you can't figure out how to use your encounter cards. I prefer just using what I have, and then you get a new one. But there might be a reason why you won't. Uh, and then hide. Hide is really cool. Instead of moving, you may place hide on the trail and treat it as a location card. Normally you can when you move, you place a new location card up on the track up here, and then you move the first. You move the whole thing to the right, then place the new one in the most left, leftmost position, and you place an encounter card on it. If you play the hide, you stay in the same zone, same location, and you don't move. You only have one hide card as well, right? So this is a way to stay in one location an extra turn, and of, of course you get. The, these cards back when they fall off the track at the end. So you have have six cards on the movement track at any time, which means after six turns you would get hide back, unless other stuff gives you back to you. Sometimes other stuff might. We have wolf form, which means that you, when you play this on the tail to trail, you choose a city up to two roads away, place that city's location card on top of this card, then suffer one damage. So you may move two two locations without putting a card in the middle. Really, really good card as well. Hide, hide is super good because you, you would, by staying in one spot, it's harder for the opponents to find you. And wolf form allows you to cover more ground, which is also really useful. Then we don't have more powers right now. Um, there's at least one more, which is feed. Feed is, we can only play feed when we are wounded and feed gives you healing. You stay in the same zone or location and just heal. And then I forget what the final one is. Huh. Might be able to see it in here. Here's Dracula's character card. And none of these do anything right now. But we'll cover all of that later. All of the hunters have special abilities that we'll talk about when we are going to play them, I think. Then, what else? To move, we would click here. Is there anything else we should do right now? Right. Wind conditions. When, let's see, the main way for the game to end is if the hunters catch Dracula and kill him. 80% of my games end with hunters catching Dracula and killing him, in fact. Uh, give and take. Sometimes that if you have a really good Dracula player, then the he will win. It's kind of hard to win as Dracula because it takes a long time. So well, the way for Dracula to win, though, is and, and and to kill Dracula you have to fight him and battle him and get his health to zero. Then he's dead. Right, so that's how that happens. For Dracula to win, you need to reach thirteen points, victory points, which can be scored in a number of ways. There are a lot of ways to score victory points as Dracula. Uh, so the the most basic one is remember how I said there's three weeks in the game? That's not really true. Uh, each At the end of each week, you add a despair token to the track. And when there are three despair tokens on the uh, time track, then Draco level start accumulating points really, really quickly. Um, I don't exactly remember exactly how, f how they... I think it's like every turn he just gets a point and then he wins when he reaches 13. The other way to score points for Dracula is by placing vampires down on the board and making them uh, mature. 
which that comes from the encounter cards, and we don't have a vampire in our hand right now, but suffice to say, you place, when you move, you place an encounter card down, one of these here, like, they can, they can be traps, they can be, like, environmental hazards, and a mob of people, wolves, rats, stuff like this. Also vampires. And then when the vampire, if the opponents do not find the vampire before it falls off the end of the track, it will be matured. You see how some cards here have two effects. The basic one and then the mature effect at the bottom. The mature effect is only ever resolved if a card, if this card falls off of the track at the end, then you get to do the mature thing. And this is where you would score points for vampires. The other way is to kill hunters. If you kill a hunter in battle, you score an amount of points. I think it's one plus the amount of despair tokens on the board. In fact, is that written here? Oh yeah, the Fury of Dracula. While all three despair tokens are on the time track, each time you place a city location card or hide on the trail, advance the influence track by three. So he scores three points every turn once we go through the first three weeks. So the, the hunters have about three weeks to find Dragon and kill him. Unless he wins before then by scoring vampires or killing hunters. Killing hunters though, it's, it, there's a strategy where you like hunt the hunters and engage them in battle, uh, but they respawn and then they need to reset and resupply and get items again, but then they come back and if they, I mean, if they manage to damage you a little bit, it's kind of hard to heal as Dracula, and so they will whittle you down over time. Alright. Let's dive in here and play the game. A little bit of an introduction. From here, in the Plymouth, there's only two locations that we can move to. We can, because it's a harbor city, which is denoted by it being blue. Land cities without a harbor are green, because it's a uh, a, a harbor city, we can move into the English Channel, uh, or we can move to London. We don't want to go into water if we can avoid it, let's go to London. Like so, we confirm that action, and here we will then get to choose one of our five encounter hard cards and place it on top of the, or I think underneath the location card. So we will place one here. Now, none of these are super good. There's no vampires. Normally I would place a vampire immediately, but let's just place a natural fog. What is a, a natural fog though? So if the opponents or the, the hunters land on London now, we get a there's two ways to use the encounter cards. When they enter this town, we can either say we want to ambush with the card and use the effect immediately up here. Or if they then search later, if we choose not to ambush, then when they search later, they can they will trigger the card by themselves, and then we will get to do the effect up here. Or again, if it falls off the track, if they never find it and it moves off the track, we would do the effect down here. Place a fog target on the city. If it is a port, place a second fog token there. London is a port city. Hunters cannot move into or out of a city that has a fog token. If it is day, each hunter of this city becomes delayed. And then it says here, if we mature it, reveal this location card, choose a city in this region, which is entirety of United Kingdom, and then place two fog tokens on that city. Good card, because it delays the hunters and uh, hampers their movement, and we want to use that to our advantage. Place that down, then... Did I already break the game? No, 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 okay. We get a new and not so fog, because you always refresh up to five cards in hand, and then we get to place a rumor token. More lows later. Now we finish the turn, and that is a regular turn. Hmm. Alright. So now it's daytime, and all the hunters move, they're looking for me. Again, I don't think the hunter AI is super good. But let's see if it can find us. Now it's night time, and so they're supplying in cities, which means that they're drawing cards. And here we have a card that has been evoked. It is a hunter card, denoted by the green color, that he drew. It is play immediately, which means he must play it. It says here, Dracula must announce the name of each hunter who is 
adjacent to his current location. So if any of them were adjacent to London right now, I would have to tell them that, hey, you, I'm close to you. But I am not. Dracula is not adjacent to any hunters. So they did not find me here. But usually you don't want to find Dracula too quickly because they have no, uh, almost no items yet. You want to like stock up a bit and get some proper equipment. Uh, here we have a, an event card drawn that was then a Dracula card and it says play immediately or at the end of the Dracula phase, which means I can keep it for later for ending the Dracula phase. And we'll do that. Roadblock says place three roadblock tokens on the board. We can like put them on either, uh, train tracks or it's called railway or roads and then they cannot move over those after each dusk remove one roadblock from the board we will just say play this at the end of the dragula phase which means we get to keep it in hand now we have it here and can use it at the end of the phase every turn we of course we have a hand limit so sometimes you want to play them immediately all right now we are going to move we are going to move, well, over here, I think, to Swansea. Interesting to note here, we cannot move to Plymouth. There's only one of each location card in the Dracula movement deck, and Plymouth is already up here. So we're not allowed to move to Plymouth. We can still move to the English Channel, where we were before, because London is adjacent to it. Or we can move to either, I forget, the, the Manchester or Swansea. Let's go to Swansea. Confirm action. And here I'm thinking, hmm, Siskani Muffs. The hunter suffers two damage, then the hunter suffers two damage and becomes a lathe unless they reveal a weapon card. And the mature effect plays card face up in play area. At dawn or dusk before a fight with Dracula, you may choose a hunter on your current location. Resolve the above effect against that hunter. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. And we have two of those. Let's do a Siskani mob. And we do a spy. We need to draw a vampire. <laughs> and I just said that we are never going to be using that dark hole, but this is exactly the situation where you would want to use the dark hole in order to draw some vampires. Not going to do it though. Um, I believe we can make do without. If we don't draw a vampire next turn, then let's consider it. Here we have the roadblock, it pops up because we have the opportunity to use it here. I am just going to say no thanks. And you do that by clicking up here, which is very important to note. Right. If you click submit, then it will play the card. So click up here. That's one of the complaints that I have for the UI, is that that's not intuitive on your first playthrough where you have to click in order to not use the card. These two are now in the same city. Well, Gadami is drawing some cards. They move during the day and then they resupply during the night. You don't have to do it in that order, but it does help. Okay, here we have a thing. Newspaper reports. Play immediately or at dawn or dusk. And he's playing it immediately, otherwise we wouldn't see it. So immediately reveal the location card on the third space of the trail. There's a newspaper report of Dracula having been here. Uh oh. So now they have now they know that in three the three turns ago I was in Plymouth. And so now, I mean, they can deduce that I must be somewhere in England. The water cards are blue, and you cannot place encounter cards on them. So if I had gone into the ocean, into the English Channel from here, uh, it would be visible on the Dracula track. In fact, they know that this card is London, because that is the only other place that I could move to from Plymouth. And so then they can deduce that, since it, again, it's not a, an ocean card, that Dracula must be in either Manchester or Swansea at the moment. Right? Now the hunt is on. That was really quick. Lucky for them. So, hmm. Let's see. If I... Could I zoom out? Yes, you click up here. At the end of this turn, we might consider placing some roadblocks. And we are, in fact, gonna do it. We want... Mina Haka here almost certainly will move to Bodo. 
to then go into the North Atlantic Ocean and then start sailing towards England. So we can roadblock that little road and then we get more roadblocks to throw down, which we will. All right, but that'll be at the end of the turn. We also drew another card, the Sensationless Press. Play when a hunter plays local rumors, hired scouts, or newspaper reports, or evil presence. Then cancel that event card. God damn it. <laughs> we, we missed that by one draw. We could have blocked that uh, discovery here. That would have been nice. It's kind of tricky because now we have boned ourselves by being in England. England. Um, I could start sailing out of England, but we'll stay here a little bit, see what the AI does. Confirm the action here. Here we will place... What does the spy do? Spy, uh, the hunter reveals all the item cards, event cards, then they discard all of the tickets, which we haven't even seen yet, uh, and the hunter may discard a weapon card to discard this card without effect. Okay. And then the mature effect is choose a hunter to resolve the above effect against that hunter. Okay. I'd go for another unnatural fog. They are best in ports, and we are in a port. Sounds good to me. Submit. There's a vampire, sweet. We are not going to place any rumor tokens. Now we are going to end the turn, and then it'll ask me if I want to play the roadblock. I do. Go to submit, card invoked, and then we will place a roadblock here. And in fact, oh, she could move to one of these towns down here in order to arrive at a port as well, so let's just box Mina Haga in completely so that now she can only move to little non-harbor cities, which is going to be delaying her a bit. Good. Yeah, see, they're going to the harbor here so that they can start sailing around. Mina is moving along one of the roads that she's allowed to move towards. Now it is dusk, and then we have to remove a roadblock, which is fine, but they've served their purpose. Now it is night, and then they get to do night turns, drawing cards. Lord Godalming draws two, because he's a rich. Dr. Seward is drawing a card, and got a Dracula card, and it's for me, sweet. Van Helsing is drawing a card, and an item, and then an event. So let's cover that once they're done here. Oh, we got another roadblock, alright. Do we want to use that right now? Hmm. No, we'll use it later at the end of a Dracula phase, I think. It's a very precious card. Alright, so some of them only drew one card. Why is that? Well, you see there's two different types of cities besides ports and land cities. We have uh, big cities like this one and small cities like Saragossa here. Big cities, if you resupply in a big city, you get to draw an item card and an event card. If you draw in a, uh, a in a small town like Saragossa, you only get to draw an event card, right? So big cities are just better to supply in. Alright, we do some cards. We got a roadblock and a custom search. Play after a move action if a hunter moved from one region to another. That hunter becomes delayed, choose, chooses to dis either discard all of his item cards or suffer 3 damage. A really good card. What is a region then? A region is denoted by the colors on the map. Here's a region, then here's the, uh, this red region is another. I don't remember them. Like, this is Spain, obviously, they have names. And then United Kingdom is one, France is a nation, Italy is a, a region, sorry, a region, and then Northern Europe up here. All right. Covering that, we have three cards in our hand. I forget whether our limit is 3 or 4. Maybe we should use the roadblock, but let's see if we hit our hand limit and then not play any. Let's see. We can go to Manchester and play our vampire, and it will be many turns before the hunters make it to United Kingdom, so I think we might get away with it. I'm gonna do it. Even though they know where they need to go. Here's our reckless vampire. There's three t different types of vampire. This is by far my favorite. Um, the reckless vampire, if you... The bottom, or the above part here, or the top part, says the hunter fights this vampire. 
each time you resolve fangs during combat initiated by an ambush, advance the influence track by one. So this initiates a fight. If they, this is if they arrive in the city and then search, they can find him. The other one below is the mature effect. If it falls off the track, so that'll be in six turns. Reveal this location card. Advance the influence track by four. That's our points. Getting up to four points. This one would, every time we resolve fangs up here, we only get one point. Then clear this hideout and the hideouts on the fourth, fifth, and sixth space, uh, spaces of the trail. So here, these three would be cleared. So whatever is in those um, three positions would be returned to either the discard pile or in case of location cards to your hand, right? This happens every time you resolve a vampire, so you don't want to play two vampires in a row. You can, but it, you, you would have to clear one of them if the first one matures. We'll submit it and put it down. We got a hoax. Okay. Now we can place a rumor token on Manchester. If you place a rumor token on a tile with a vampire, then if it gets resolved, you get another um, influence point. I think it's just one more. But the downside is that the opponents, the hunters, can see your rumor tokens, and so they might think, okay, well, that is a very important card. On the other hand, I could place it on Liverpool to uh, be like tricky and cunning and try to deceive them. Let's just try to put it on Manchester. So here, now there's a rumor token on Manchester. If we resolve a, a mature vampire from here, we would gain extra points. Finish the turn. I think I will play the roadblock because now that we have a vampire up here, delaying them becomes even more important. And again, we can cut off Mina Haga from any harbors here. Like so. So she has to travel more inland. Good. Lord Godalming took a very weird move right there. What happened? And then after a move action, if a hunter moved from one region to another, we can delay them and either discard all his items or suffer three damage. Now, Lord Godalming is very good at drawing new cards, so I don't think we would do it on him. We'll hold it. Dr. Seward, though, just crossed into a different region. Let's just have him be affected by that. He heals, really. Dr. Seward is a, is a doctor, so he heals at twice the rate that other people do, and other people, or other hunters in the same zone as him may also heal double, which is really nice. But it would be nice to discard his item cards. I'm still going to hold, because we don't know how many cards he has. Now Van Helsing, though. Let's do it on him. <coughs> Let's go see. Van Helsing has become delayed, and he kept chooses to keep his cards, reducing his health from 8 to 5. Very nice. Nina Haka travels. Now it is dusk, then it goes into nighttime. Now, first, dusk in dusk, we have to remove a roadblock. It might not matter. They have served their purpose more or less. North Godalming is receiving a train ticket. Okay, so that means they're by, by about getting ready, uh, like full up on items. Then the AI usually tries to get some train tickets. And I'll explain those in a minute when we uh, have some time here. Here's a card that has been invoked. Local Rumors. Play immediately. Dracula must reveal all location cards in hideouts adjacent to your current location. Okay, next to Dr. John Seward. We are not close to him at all. Never mind. Here is an event card that we, we can try to cancel that event card. We don't care, so no. The rumors in Munich led to dead ends. All right. Then it is Dracula's turn. Let me explain ticket tokens. Ticket tokens are here. This is the ticket token pile. And I think if we click on Dr. Seward, for example, no, not you either, Lord Godalming. Ah, see, he has two train tickets right here. And we can see all of his cards, well, they're not revealed, but we can see that they, what cards he, uh, like, what kind of cards he has in his hand. He has one, two, three item cards and one, two, three event cards, which is the max. And he also has two train tickets, which is the max, so he's got everything he can carry at this moment, or at this point. And 
Let's see. Train tickets. If we zoom in, we can see that some... Most cities are connected by roads, the little red lines. But other cities are also connected by railways here. And they usually will allow you to bypass an amount of cities or sometimes even travel really long distances in one move. Like here and here. And you need train tickets in order to travel with those. So that you need to spend an action picking up a train ticket and then you can spend it in another one you would move. You could travel along a railway instead. Sometimes they again allow you to to travel much further, and sometimes they will have they will always have numbers on them from one to three, and so if you have a ticket with which it says three, you are allowed to travel one to uh one one two three cities in one go, allowing you to travel or uh, put a lot of distance behind you. Right? There's two different kinds of railways. There's the white one and the yellow one. The yellow ones are in Eastern Europe and the white ones are in Western Europe. That is, this is because the, the trains in Western Europe at this point in time, uh, this is the late 1800s, are way more developed and so they are faster and better connected. So your train ticket will usually have both a white and a yellow number on it and the yellow numbers are a little bit lower and those are the ones you have to use if you're traveling in Eastern Europe. So. It's easier to use tr train tr tickets in Western Europe, basically. All right, let's return to Dracula up here and zoom in. And now we will hide in this location. We have a, a vampire in this location, so we want to make sure that if the um, hunters arrive here, they need to deal with some extra challenges. So we can do stuff like bats. Didn't we have a bats card? Now we have a rat's card, okay. What does the hoax do? You cannot ambush this card. The hunter comes late, right. Uh, yeah, we'll use this one. Uh, the hunter becomes late, you cannot ambush with it, but if they search, and we have two encounter cards on this tile, we may choose the order in which they find them, and we can choose the hoax first, and then that hunter would become delayed before they find the vampire, and when you become delayed, you lose the rest of your turn and your next move. So that's really good. And then the mature effect says take all Dracula event cards from the discard pile. Secretly choose one to place in your hand and shuffle the rest into your deck. Very cool. Submit. And we do a new vampire. Alright. End the turn. No special cards to play. And then it's back to the hunters. Day turns. Which is kind of still dark, but it's denoted by the sun up here, of course, it's day. They are moving towards England, of course. Dracula isn't in Gallia. Psychic bond. Not sure what happened there. Hmm. Take the roadblock to remove, we will. Sure. Dr. Seward is receiving a card and an event card, alright. And Helsing is resupplying, and we got an event card. Great Wolf. Ooh. Play immediately to pounce or as an ally. If we play it immediately to pounce, if you choose one hunter, that hunter will suffer four damage unless they reveal either a crucifix or a heavenly host item card. So that's like using it as an immediate effect. The other thing we can do is we can use it as an ally. Both the Dracula and the Hunters can have one ally that is like a pers persistent effect that works every turn, does something, and this ally is my favorite. It is an uh, ally at the start of each Dracula phase, choose one Hunter. That Hunter will suffer one damage unless they can reveal a Crucifix or Heavenly Host item card. So they might have those, but then we get to know that, and then if they don't, they we can deal continual damage to them every turn. So we will play this as an ally. The Great Wolf is now Dracula's ally. I think that's supposed to be like a werewolf. I have never read Bram Stoker's old, uh, the old story, but I have seen the movie just recently and it is actually really, really good. If you have not seen 
Bram Stoker's Dracula the movie, I hardly recommend it. And from what I hear, the the book is also in, in like a masterpiece. So on on the the read list, local rumors is played. Uh, Dracula must reveal all locations, card and hideouts adjacent to your current location. We don't have any close to Mina, so it should be fine. We can cancel it, but why would we? The rumors in Paris that to dead ends. Choose event card targets. This is for the the Great Wolf. We already damaged Van Helsing. He's at five health. Let's see if we can give him another poke. He reveals a crucifix. He doesn't lose it for that, so now we know that he has a crucifix. Good. And in fact, we can then click on Van, uh, Van Helsing, and now we see here that he has a revealed crucifix over here. Once a card is revealed from the hunters, they have to keep it revealed until they lose it. And in fact, if we look at Mina Harker, uh, there's a special thing here. Because she is bitten from the beginning of the game, she has to, at all times, if she has any, she has to reveal one item card and one event card. So you can always see two of her cards. And this is the same if I manage to bite one of the other hunters. We have a little bit of influence over them, and so we get to see part of their hand. She is currently carrying a heavenly host. Oh. And a surprising return card. Play at dawn or dusk. Search the event discard pile for one card with the ally effect and resolve that card. All right. They have to find an ally first. Good. It is our turn, I believe. Indeed. Oh, it's also kind of funny to note. Each hunter in the video game, they get like a pin that they can put in a city and the AI will use this to like denote where they think you are or have been. And the last known location that they guaranteed know that I have been in is London. So all of the AIs have put their pin into London. This doesn't do anything other than you can use it as the hunters to communicate with each other or like keep track of the board. But for the AI, it's just basically showing you where they think you have been or know you have been. All right, we are going to make a move and move. There's only one choice. We are moving to Edinburgh. Confirming that action. And then here we will place down the new vampire. We're not going to place that here, but what, what does this one do? The hunter fights this vampire. Other hunters on this location may become delayed to participate. And it, if we manage to mature this one, we get three points. This one is not as strong as the reckless vampire. Spy. Wolves. Rats or Shiskani bodyguards. Let's make another Shiskani bodyguards. Good. And now something happened. Plymouth, our first card, has fallen off the track. You see, it's not up here anymore. Now, when they fall off of the track, you, as Dracula, you have an option to promote that location card to a layer. And we will do that. There's no reason not to with the first one, so let's just place it. And then you get to place a and counter card on that card as well. We will go for something like the rats. And the cool thing about it is that now if anyone arrives in Plymouth, then we can ambush with this card. You can never, once the card has been like put into what's called, what we're doing right now is called the catacombs, you can never get the mature effect out of a card because it's already off the track. Um, we can only use it to ambush if they enter those cities. And of course it's still revealed, they know that this card will be put on Plymouth, not what it is, but that there is a card there. So they know that there's a danger thing in Plymouth. But it's just nice to have, there's no reason not to. And we do a new type of vampire as well, an arist aristocratic vampire. This one cannot fight at all, so if they ever, the hunters ever fight this one, they can kill it just by becoming delayed. But it also gives you four points, which is quite nice. Good. And finish turn. Let's see if the AI is smart enough to move to England and pursue us. I honestly have my doubts, but we will find out soon. They are at least moving towards the English channel. We have to remove a roadblock here. 
Then it is their night turns. Oh, I think one of them is already in the ocean, isn't he? He's in the English Channel. It's just like Agatha. Oh, they get an ally here. Uh, they can either use it instantly to search a location, choose one city. The Dracula must reveal that city's location card, if so they can use it to guess uh, a city. Or they can use it as an ally to say, after Dracula resolves escape as bad, escape as missed, or fangs, he suffers two damage, which is brutal. Let's see if the uh, AI is smart enough to use it as an ally. Yes. So it's more like a passive effect, this one, but a really strong one. All right. Now it is the beginning of our turn, so we may assault with the Great Wolf. We know that Mina Haka has a Heavenly Host, and we saw Van Helsing have a Crucifix before, so let's try with Lord Godalming. He reveals a Heavenly Host. All right. Fair enough. Heavenly Host, Heavenly Host, or Crucifix, and a Heavenly Host. So next time we will try Dr. John Seward and see if we can manage to damage him. Now, we need to make our move. And we cannot move to Manchester because we have been there. We can play a power, but we're not gonna. We can clear a high dial. Misdirect is kind of interesting. That's the final power that I didn't explain before because we couldn't do it. Misdirect is a next level kind of card play where you use it to really mess with the opponents or the hunters. So what it does is it says, clear a hideout on any space of the trail that is not your current location, cast Dracula as scene location or the location associated with hide, then place misdirect on that space. Then choose a location, choose a location to place the first, the first space of the trail. I suppose I should use this one, right? Except you destroy whatever you had on that location. You destroy the encounter card that you placed on that location. But we can use it to clear and thus use it to cover up part of our track on, on the board. We lose the encounter card. Right now, I kind of like that we have all these count encounter cards in these locations because I'm going to use them to, when the hunters arrive here, make it hard for them to get to Manchester in the first place and then get to the vampire in time. The vampire you know, on Manchester is here. You can click on it to see the, so this is Manchester. There's a reckless vampire here. And we can click here to say, well, this the next one is a hide, so it must also be in Manchester. We are gonna leave England. We are gonna go into the North Sea. Right now we have 15 health. When we move into the sea, we take two damage. And we do not get, get to place an encounter card on the sea even though it can put one up here. And then it ask, it's asking me, do we want to promote London with a natural fog to a lair? Yes. And then we may place yet another encounter card on that on London. When we started with Plymouth, we didn't have an encounter card on, on, on already, so when it became a lair, it only went to one encounter card. London already has an encounter card, and we may play another uh, one on top of it. So now it's going to have two encounter cards for the first hunter that arrives here. It's going to be fun. And... Saboteur is nice. So is moves. Let's go with the Saboteur. Saboteur says the hunter becomes delayed. Return this card face up to this hideout unless the hunter reveals a pistol or rifle. Easy to understand. More delaying stuff. And I think at this point we, we will get to mature our Reckless Vampire, which is going to be great. We took two damage though for moving on to the sea location. What is happening here? Hmm. Alright. North Sea is, is the only thing in this pile. It, it just looks like there's an encounter card underneath, which is... I suppose that is in fact a bug. So now we have our first bug report. Alright. Anything else? No. Finish the turn. We took damage from moving into the seas. Dracula does not like to travel uh, across water. 
Ah, now they are moving out into the English Channel. These three hunters are moving together, which can be pretty scary. If they find Dracula together, then they can fight, fight Dracula together, which is really hard, fighting multiple hunters. We have to remove a roadblock, and so we are going to remove this one. Now it's night time. At least the hunters cannot do anything at sea during night time. So they just waste that turn, basically. Lord Godalming. Uh, oh, right, so... Who didn't we check yet? We know that Minahaka, Van Helsing, and Lord Godalming has stuff that prevents the Great Wolf from damaging. What about John Stewart? No cards were revealed. So he takes a damage. Haha. -ha. Alright, and then it is my turn. Now, we have some options here. When we move, we can't play special cards here. Huh. I suppose we can. Oh. Interesting. You could can you play wolf form while at sea? Let's find out. Oh, we totally can. So wolf form allows us to move two cities, which means we can skip an inner city uh, a port city and just go straight inland. Um, the other interesting choice that we could have made was to sail on. And why would we want to do that? Well, because the hunters know that we were in England. And then they know that we went to sea. If I go to land now, which we have already committed to, uh, I'm just going to go to Leipzig. That's where I wanted to go. Boom, like this. Well, uh, let me finish this up and then we'll talk about it. We still, we spend a health to play the wolf form, which is fine. Here we will then play... Wolves. We draw another aristocratic vampire. Alright, promote Swansea with Siskani Mark to a lair. Siskani... Uh, in Swansea, hmm. If I reveal it, they will, they will know that it's not a... I, the other thing is that we can mature it, right? And if I do that, then they will know that it is not a vampire. And I need them to go and check. So I think we will say yes to making it just a layer. We can have three layers, so now we have our third. And in here we will put more rats. We draw a hoax. Alright, place a rumor token again. No. All right. So we we went from the uh, from England to sea, and then to land again. What that means is the the hunters will now know that I that Dracula is only one sea zone away from mainland England, right? So that could be North Sea, North Atlantic. I don't think it could be North Atlantic Sea. In fact, it could be the Irish Sea or the English Channel. They know though that it cannot be the English Channel, as London is here and they know that so then a smart hunter player will say well he either moved into the irish sea or the north sea and then he went to land and so he is either in uh galway dublin or he is somewhere along the north sea coast All right so I'm, I'm not shaking them entirely right now right now they still have a really clear path to finding me we have an event card here. Play the end of the Dracula phase. If there is a hideout on the third space of the tra trail, uh, place an encounter card on it. That's Manchester up here. No, Edinburgh. We are not going to do that right now. Let's see if something happens here. Yes. Lord Godalming has moved into London. When they do that, then we have the opportunity to ambush them. I don't think we will. We can choose which one to ambush with. Oh, we could go on natural fog, and then no other hunters may enter the city. Hunters cannot move into or out of a city that has a fog token. I think we'll do that. So we add that to the cards that we want to ambush with. Or we don't. Hmm. No, let's try to be smart. But if we can catch them all in London at once, then we will catch all the hunters in, in London. Hmm. 
Let's see if we get that lucky. Oh no, see, Van Helsing is moving up to the North Sea. And very we... Uh, Milahaka also went to a different city. I see. Well done, AI. Spreading out. Okay, but she went into... The town that I forgot the name of. But we can ambush with our rats in here, and I think we will. She, she doesn't have to search yet. That's actually a bad move, moving there. Because there can be nothing interesting here, and nothing that I can mature later. So it must be a trap, and she went in here anyway. Let's just ambush with the rats. The hunter suffers two damage. Return this card face up to this hideout unless the hunter reveals a pistol or rifle. And she did not. So she took two damage. Sweet. And she did not reveal anything. Good. Now it is Lord Godalming's night action. But first we must remove a roadblock. All roadblocks are now gone. And card is invoked here. I suppose this is, must be because he chose to use the search action. A search action means that Dracula must reveal one of the encounter cards in that city then. And so we have the unnatural fog here. It's been invoked. There you go. And he finds the saboteur as well. Oh, really? Huh. And then he became delayed. Interesting. Lord Kadaming revealed rifle to counter the saboteur. All right, we got a card, Nocturnal Visit, that's one of the good ones, Minahaka is getting a train ticket. All right, and we get to target a hunter in the start of the turn, we knew that Doc or at least last turn Dr. Seward was not able to block this damage, so let's see, he still does not have a card blocking it, so he loses another health, very good. Now, we have three layers. Oh, no, we haven't. We lost London. I thought, actually, we would keep it, but why would we when we lost all the encounter cards? No, indeed, it is clear. So we can have another layer when we move here. That's good. Let us move to... We still have Seward in the mainland Europe here. Hmm. We can either try to be tricky and this, like snake down through to Spain, down through Italy, or down through... The most common path, if you play, at least when I play with my friend uh, in real life, then it's too obvious moving down into Eastern Europe. People do it every time, so then it's very predictable. But it's also kind of hard snaking past someone. I think to, to just put the most distance between us and the hunters, we are going to move towards Eastern Europe here. So Nuremberg, confirm the action. And we will put down a vampire here, a new vampire. Then it is asking me if I want to promote Liverpool with unnatural fog to a layer, and I do. And then we get to place yet another card here. Let us go for... Bats. I guess not. Because I want the fog... Primarily here. So the spy, just to get rid of the spy. I'm not not a big fan of the spy here. Oh, a desecrated soil is really good. We can place a rumor token, and we'll place that on Nuremberg where we have our vampire. It's gotta be pretty tricky for them to f pick up my trail and find me here. Not impossible, but it's not something you do easily. And they're, I mean, they have another vampire that they're trying to find. I don't think they can make it in time. There's only one more turn until it's matured. We had a van car here that I didn't even read. Uh, let's end it here. Uh, oh, oh, whoops. I thought maybe I could look at my cards one more time. Alright, that's fine. Hopefully we don't break our hand limit here. Oh, look at that. Van Helsing is going into Hamburg. Oh. Huh. And our natural fog has been removed from London. Oh, one of the tokens. There's two fog tokens here, so he's got to stay one more turn. But they're already on my trail up here. Clever AI. They've, they've gotten better. That's nice. Okay. Thought I could fool the AI. 
Lord Goodalling, no, no, you are targeting Don Sewer with our Great Wolf. No cards were revealed, and he loses yet another health. Very nice. Now our turn. Let's have a look at our cards. We have the Nocturnal Visit. Play at the end of the Dracula phase. Each combat resolved during the next dawn or day is resolved as if it was night. Okay, not a big deal. Hidden Schemes. Play at the end of the Dracula phase. If there is a hideout on the third space of the trail, right, there was a seesaw on last turn, and this is to block a card. Okay. This one's really good though. We are about to mature a vampire. It's gonna be great. Right now, we might want to play Feed. Eat a little bit of blood. If we place this on the trail, instead of taking our move for the turn, we recover 3 damage. Going back to 15 health. You gotta do this at any point where you think you might have the opportunity. Promote Manchester with Reckless Vampire to Lair. You already have three layers and one would have to discard. No, we do not want to do that. Because we want to mature it. Card matured. Reckless Vampire. So, we reveal this location, then advance the influence track by four, then clear this hideout and the other hideouts close to it. Manchester is revealed, and then we clear the track up until that point. So, now we don't have anything here, but we got our points. We got, in fact, we gained six points. Seven points? Interesting. Why seven? I'm not sure. We got three extra points. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, we had a rumor token on... on that tile, and maybe it's worth three points? I don't really know how many points it's worth, the rumor token. So... When we play in real life, we always forget to use Zuma tokens. So... <laughs> Eternal Visit... Or the Hidden Schemes. We'll play the Hidden Schemes. Submit. Interesting. Ah, I didn't do the right thing. I didn't play a card there. I, I I did it wrong. Again, the UI fooled me, even though I played the game a lot. Oh, he's... Van Helsing is taking the train. Okay. I mean, Haka is sailing into the North Atlantic for some reason. A natural fog token has been removed from London, so now there's no more fog in London, and he is free to move. Dr. Seward is discarding some cards and also receiving some other ones. Van Helsing doing another ticket. Mina Haka. Ah, here we see the one despair token that has been added here. We are into the second week. Uh, for our great wolf, we will once again target Dr. John Seward. He still does not have a card, so we take another health off of him. At this point, we might even think about moving towards John Seward and try to kill him. Because he's getting pretty low on health. Now, And Helsing is over here where I wanted to move to Prague, so we could go Munich, Zurich, or Strasbourg, Frankfurt. I'm thinking Strasbourg right now. No. Zurich. We're moving towards Stuart. If we end up in a fight with him, we might be able to kill him. Here we will... Hmm. We just played a vampire here, so if we, we wouldn't want to play another one. Hoax is really, really good. Take all Dracula event cards from the discard pile and secretly get one of them back. Also, very important, not, not only do you get the card back into your pile, but you shuffle all Dracula ca event cards from the discard pile into the actual deck, in increasing the ratio of our cards in the event deck to hunter cards, right? Which is really important. If we can manage to do it when the deck is really low, then it's basically going to be only Dracula cards in here. Um, the other one is the Desecrated Soil. The Desecrated Soil is kind of interesting. 
the first effect up here is not that great, but down here, if we ever manage to mature it, we recover 3 damage. And that is really strong. Up here it says to draw 3 encounter cards, then discard up to 3 encounter cards from your hand. Return this card face up to the hideout, unless the hunter reveals him the host, and then it can still be matured. And I think we'll play that here. For hoping to healing, for heal in the future, it's gonna be great. We do not want to play a rumor token. And finish the turn. Yes, this time we will remember to do this right because when you have multiple card choices, the the X up here disappears that we had to click before in order to not play a card. Now we have to do a different thing in order to not play a card. We have to add it to the selected list. So we have to click here, add, then click down here. If there is a hideout at the third space of the trail, place an encounter card, and that's where we have our vampires, so that's really good. And then by the vampire, we want to play bats. So if they move on to the tile with the vampire, we can reveal bats and say, it says, place a bats token under the hunter. When that hunter would perform their next action, instead, discard the bats token and move them to an adjacent city. Then delay that hunter, so they move. They lose two full a full actions, and they get moved away from the, the tile that I they, I don't want them to be on. So bats on top of a vampire is really powerful. And then we do a supper tour. Okay, and Dr. Seward moved into the Tahinian Sea. I am not sure why he would think to do that. On the other hand, someone has placed a pin in Milan. Oh, we are in Zurich though, but why do they think that I'm in Milan? Uh, Van Helsing is resting, so he is recovering some health. Let's just quickly... Oh, we... Okay. We talk Dr. Seward again. No cards were revealed. On four. We might just be able to kill him with the Great Wolf unless he manages to find a card or starts healing. We can also check here. Yeah, we still see the Heavenly Host for Lord Godelming and the rifle that he used to destroy one of our encounter cards. Van Helsing, we still see the Heavenly Host. No, sorry, the Crucifix. And for Mina, we still see the Heavenly Host. So Seward is the only one we can target. Alright, back to Dracula. And we will... can we do a special thing? Misdirect. I don't want to do that right now. We want to move. And I suppose we are going to Geneva. Such a predictable move moving along the little small cities, but against the human player it would make more of a difference. Here we will place... Let's see, the vampire is here. So once it, it gets thrown off the trail, we will clear space 6, 5, and 4. And so this one will be removed then. Let's just do a hoax here. Good one. Then a rumor token, no thanks. And finish turn. We do not want to play nocturnal visit. Move on. Here's another small minor complaint for the game. This moving from, okay, she moved in to Cadiz, but moving from the South Atlantic all, all the way to the Mediterranean Sea takes a long time. Um, which feels a little bit silly to sit here and wait for that animation. We will once again target Dr. John Seward. He's at sea, so he cannot have drawn any cards. Go down to three health. We are moving. Now we have a Lord Godelming here, which is kind of scary. We're going to be moving to Clement Ferrand. Here we will play a Reckless Vampire. And... What do we do? What do we do? A Rumor Token on Clement Ferrand. 
In fact, we don't have to place that rumor token until it's the third card, because you're allowed to place on the first three tiles anyway. I'm not sure why we would ever place it on the first two. I know I did it, but that's because I didn't really think it through. Usually it's better to wait until it's the third card. No reason to play the Nocturnal Visit. Are they even, if they don't catch that other vampire that we have out, then we've won, I think. Because there's a rumor token on it as well. Lord Gidelm is taking the train. Van Helsing moving closer to us. Mina also moving towards us. Rest complete. Mina's also resting. Alright. Instead of drawing cards, they can rest. We'll keep targeting Dr. Seward here. Down to two health. And then we will move. Now we can move up here, I think. Should be okay. Paris or maybe Nante. Yeah, let's go to Nante. And place a Saboteur. Or Wolves. No, Saboteur. Promote Leipzig with Wolves to Lair. Here is another one of those scenarios where I wish I could look at my cards in the board state while we are thinking about this, because we can mature the wolves and then attack someone in the same region. I don't think there's anyone right now in the same region as Leipzig, so let's just uh, promote it and we have to destroy a lair, but we are not going to be using these in uh, England anymore, so we clear Plymouth. To our new card. Then we may place a, because we just made Leipzig a lair, we may place another encounter card there, and we will place Siskani mobs. I guess just more wolves. Huh. Why not? There's a rumor token. No thanks. Next turn we will mature a vampire unless they make it to what? What, what town is this? Nuremberg? Which they can't, because uh, there's ways to do it, so maybe. But it looks like we've won. Oh, the camera is covering quite a bit of the board, actually. Okay. You know what? I'm going to turn off the camera. Hold on. Uh, when, yeah, now. Now when we have a bit of time here. Where's the camera? There. And that one. Good. Back to the game. Let's see if we can kill Seward with the Great Wolf. He's staying in the Tohinian Sea. That might be another bug. Alright. I did say that I wanted to try to break the game today. It looks like we might be achieving it. Alright, so now when I move we will be able to mature that vampire. Let's see what happens. Confirm action. Play a reckless vampire, sure. And we will not promote... Nuremberg, we will say no and mature that vampire. Three points. And indeed, Dracula revealed. They get to see the entire path. We have won. Dracula victory. Dracula advanced the influence track to 13. And there we go. That is a game of Dracula. Fu the Fury of Dracula. Focus stats, total damage distilled, distance traveled in kilometers, which I find a really funny thing, because it's reliant on what distance between cities, that means they've sat down and figured out the distance between all locations in order to give you the stat. Hunter deaths, zero. General statistics, combats entered, zero. Total moves, 
various stuff. We'll play again, and then this time we'll play as the hunters and see if we can find and kill Dragolite. That's a little bit more challenging with the AI is playing against uh, as the hunters. This was just to showcase how Dracula works. So that now, when we start hunting Dracula, you guys know what's happening. So here we will go in and say, I want it to be an AI and this to be myself. Go and play. Select a starting city for Dracula. Did I just... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I did the other way around. Play. Local game. Play. Local game. Oh, it's because we're moving into the save game screen because now we have an active game. Let's just delete this one. New game. I want to be the hunters like this. Play. Select the starting city for Lord Godelming. So now we get to place our hunters. Let me see. I usually put Lord Godelming in Spain. Granada. Let me do my standard setup here. We put Seward in Eastern Europe. Right over here. Galatz. Then we put Van Helsing in England. Uh, in London, yes. Then Mina Harker goes to mid Europe ish, where she can most easily be supported by the other characters because she is the weakest. So it's nice to have um, the others surrounding her. We might put her down in Italy though, in Naples. Good. And Dracula is now hidden. We don't see Dracula, obviously. So he is here. Good. The only no places that we know he is not is on the four cities that I started in. Now we will take the carriage here. Maybe we slow down a bit and say this is what it looks like when you can take a turn as the hunter. And let's just cover the abilities of every hunter. Lord Godalming is wealthy, so he, when he supplies in a large city, he draws two item cards instead of one, and when he reserves a ticket, he gains two tickets instead of one. He also has the highest amount of health at 11. Let's go through them all. Dr. John Seward is a physician, so when you in, or another hunter in your city rests, that hunter recovers two damage instead of one. And he is prepared. You can have up to four cards and up to uh, item cards and four event cards instead of the, the three of each, which is the rule for other hunters. It's got nine health. Van Helsing is the leader, so when he trades, uh, instead of item cards, you may choose to trade event cards with any hunters in any city. Normally, hunters can only trade with each other if they are in the same city, and they can only trade item cards. Van Helsing may make this special trading action, and it's only him that can take that action. The other hunters may not trade and trade a cross map with Van Helsing. It has to be him doing the, uh, the, the trade, but then he can trade event cards with any hunter in any city. And then, Strong Willed, you have two bite spaces. You are defeated when you would gain a third bite token. Normally, a hunter dies when they have two bite tokens. And Mina, she, he has eight health, by the way, because he's an old man. And Mina, is drained. You always have a bite token and are always weakened. You must keep one item and event card revealed. So here it is noted he's, or she's already been bitten, but she has a psychic bond with Dracula due to this. And as an action, if you are in the city with another hunter, force Dracula to tell you if he is in your region. So like a hypnosis thing. Very cool. All right. As a hunter, this is daytime, even though the map is so dark. I still don't really know why it's like that, but whatever. You can move, you can pass, you can reserve tickets, you can rest if you have damage, you can search. This will allow you to find encounter cards, um, but you should never search unless you have revealed the location card in your zone, because if you are in the zone with a location card, Dragula must reveal it, 
and so you will know, then you can see whether or not there's a dope encounter card, a hidden encounter card on, underneath that one, and then you want to search. That's the only, the only purpose of the search action. Then you have special if you have cards. Supply will allow you to draw item and event cards. And then you have the trade uh, action. So with Lord Godalming here, we take the carriage. You can travel by road, travel by train or travel by boat, right? We'll take the carriage to Madrid. That is his action, confirm. Then Stuart's turn, okay, to a little time. That's fine. Move by carriage to Bucharest. Yes. With Van Helsing, I always open with a supply action. It's really nice to get some cards, and there is an advantage to supplying during the day. We did never saw the AI do it. But if you supply during the day, oh, in fact, it's very, very nice demonstration here. You, you, you remember how I said in the previous game that the event deck you draw from the bottom, that's only when you uh, supply at night. Then you draw from the bottom, and if it's a hunter card, you get to keep it. If it's a Dracula card, it goes to Dracula. If you supply during the day, you take from the top, and you see the top of the event card the deck here is a Dracula card. And then if, if it is a dragon card, dragon card, it gets discarded face down. And if you, if it is a hunter card, you get it. So supplying during the day is much better. And in fact, best when you see that there's a dragon card on top, because then you know that you are getting to remove one of his cards from the deck. Perfect. And you still get your item cards if you, if you are in the big city. So let's do it here. We get a rifle. Very nice. And Dragula is then discarding the top card from the deck. Sweet. And we are going to do the same with Mina. Supply during the day. Get a knife. And a newspaper report. Okay. A newspaper report is play immediately or at dawn or dusk. So immediately is reveal the third location card on the... Th sorry, the, the location card on the third space of the trail. There's no card here. So that's, of course... It's not even clickable, fair enough. The other one is Dawn of Dusk, reveal the location card on either the 5th or 6th space of the trail. So it's much better if you do it immediately, but then you uh, have to do it right now. We can save it for later though, and just do it whenever uh, we see a card appearing over here. Good. Then what? Let's see. Lord, now we are in the night turns, and Lord Godalming has arrived in the big city. Now we cannot move, because you cannot move during the night. So we will supply with Lord Godalming. Yes, we get two item cards, Rifle and Heavenly Host, very nice. And I'll explain the item cards later, uh, the combat cards, when we get into a combat. <coughs> Sorry. I think I managed to mute that cough. Behind the Veil, play immediately. Reveals Dracula event cards or and his hand of encounter cards. Choose one of those encounter cards to discard. Alright, that is a card that Lord Godelman drew here. So he's got a vampire. Uh, he has rats, bats, a hoax and wolves. We want to, him to discard the vampire. Here, submit. And then he gets a new card immediately. Dracula always has exactly five uh, encounter cards in his hand, no, no matter what happens. So you need, if he loses one or gains one, he will immediately reset his hand to five, either discarding or drawing. All right. Dr. John Seward, you are over here. You will be supplying during nighttime here. A crucifix. Very good. And a Dracula event card. This was during night, so he gets that card. All right, then Van Helsing is still in London. Draw more cards, garlic. And a sense of emergency. I forget what that one does. We can go in and click on Van Helsing here and then read it. Sense of emergency, play as an action during day, suffer two damage and move up to a, to a city up to three roads away. Good, just a nice card. Then... 
it was Mina's turn, you have to click here then to go back to her. And she's still in Naples, do another supply action here. Pistol. And renewed vigor. And now something happens here. Before we had one item and one event card, and so they were automatically re revealed to Dracula, because she always has to reveal one of each. Now, at the end of every turn with Mina, we get a choice between what cards we want to have revealed. And we're just going to reveal the same one. So we had, uh, what is this here? We had newspaper reports revealed, and we had knife revealed. It, unfortunately, it's going to ask me for that every single turn, instead of just letting me choose when to change it. Dracula damage. Their health is now 13. He played Dark Call. All right. He might not have had a vampire in hand after I discarded the other one. And I, I get why you would want a vampire in the early on. So he chose not to move and then to make Dark Call. That's fine. So now he optimizes his encounter hand a little bit. Choose event card, a new vigor. Play during this uh, do, 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 at dawn, at dawn, which is it now. During the day of this hunter phase, each hunter may perform one additional action. They cannot perform the same action twice, nor can they use either action to recover from being delayed. Hmm. Do we want to do that right now? It might be better later. So I think we will... We will say no thanks. Alright. Lord Godelming's turn. Now it is getting harder. We... we Know that Dracula hasn't moved, so we're kind of like fumbling in the dark. But let's go to Cadiz. See if he probably didn't put himself in Spain, but it's kind of stupid or silly to leave Spain and then figure out that he was here all along. So let's just fumble around a bit and see if we catch up to him. Uh, Seward is using... This. well, he, he's gonna be supplying. He can carry a ton of cards, and he has very few. And again, we are moving completely blindly right now, so we might as well just draw some cards and get some some stuff into hand. A horses and a speedy telegraph. We'll cover them later. Well, I maybe do want to know what the speedy telegraph is at least. Play at dawn. During both Day and night of this hunter phase, the hunters can perform actions in any order. Ignore the activation order. Normally, they always have to go Lord Gdalming, Seward, Helsing, and then Haka. Then you can do it in any order. Not a very good card, but it might be usable in certain scenarios. It is day. Alright. The reason that I'd like to start in London with Van Helsing is because if the opponent like starts in Plymouth like I did then his first move must be to London if not into the sea and so by staying here and then resupplying I, I would catch him if he moves here basically sorting him out of Plymouth as a starting location and <laughs> then he didn't move so I'm just gonna supply again we have a Dracula card on top of the event card deck here so Let's get rid of that one and get fast horses. Dracula discarding the top card and another card on top of the... I usually don't use day supply that much, but it's kind of nice when they have the Dracula card on top. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Holy bullets. And... Another one. It's it got it face down, unfortunately, so we don't really learn anything at the end. No a card to reveal. That'll be newspaper reports and the knife again. Now it is night turns. Lord Godelming is still supplying. I don't stand still and supply with him because he draws so many cards when he supplies. So he, he can use more time moving. He, need, he can only carry three items, so now we need to discard one. He's got a pistol, which does two damage. And the way weapons work is that uh, the this one will cancel 
planning and claws, which again we'll see that when we actually fight. Stake is really cool. Reveal this card before you search. If you reveal a vampire or a hoax, discard this card, both this card and that card without effect. Very, very nice. And really host is good and rifle is really good as well. But uh, I think pistol goes because it's the least good weapon of those that we have. We got Jonathan Harker. All right. Uh, play immediately to search a location or as an ally. Search a location is choose one city. Dracula must reveal that city's location card if we guess correctly. And then ally. When a hideout slides to the, uh, as an ally, when a hideout slides to the sixth space of the trail, reveal that hideout's location card. That's kind of nice. So we will play Jonathan Harker as a an ally here. Doctor Seward, you are gonna be supplying during nighttime here. A knife and a surprising return. Which I think is to recover an ally from the discard pile. Yes. Very good. Van Helsing is up in London still. Another supply. Uh, he has got full event uh, item cards. But he can get more event. In fact, we should destroy a ticket token. Now we get to see one of them. And this is the best ticket token you can have. Three white and two yellow. Mina Haga is... Also full on items, but needs a ticket. So let's get her a ticket. A one. One, one white. Alright. Not a, That's the worst one, I think. Tickets. Dracula moved. So by him moving, uh, we didn't really learn anything. Dang it. Because that could be hide, so he, can, he might still be in the same location. During both day and night of this hunter face. No, no, no. Renew Vicar, mm -mm -mm -mm. an additional action now. Oh, good Dalming is moving. Gonna move to Lisbon. Confirm. Seward is moving. Gonna move to Constanta. Alright. Van Helsing. We didn't learn anything. He might still be in Plymouth. <laughs> in fact. Which is kind of silly. I, I'm, I am going to move, though. Let us move to Swansea. Yes. Mina. Moving to Bari. Now at night, Lord Godelming, he has as many items that as he needs. Let's get a ticket here, and he gets two when he reserves one, because he's so filthy rich. Good. Dr. Seward can carry more item cards, so let's get the fourth one. We got a stake. And Dracula got another event card, all right. And Van Helsing in a small town now, not really where you want to supply, so let's just reserve a ticket here. Two and a one. Mina Haka. Also getting a ticket. Three and a two. Very good. Dracula. Takes a damage for... Doing what? He goes into sea. Okay. Huh. And he's placed a rumor token up on, on the first tile here where there cannot be a vampire. Hmm. Alright. Bad AI. Bad. The rumor tokens only do something if they are on a vampire and there can literally not be a vampire here. There's no an encounter card on this first, first card. So that's a, a mistake from the AI. Speedy Telegraph. No, no, no. We're not playing that. We're not playing Renewed Vigor. Lord Godelming 
wants to move. Now he, if if he went into the sea, he could have been in Cagliari, and then done dark hole, then a hide, placed the vampire, and then gone to sea. He might also be in Ireland. That's at least the basic, like Cagliari, and doing that whole spiel that I just explained is like a bit, pretty basic way of playing uh, Dracula, getting a, a safe vampire at the start. We could try to go to Cagliari or Ireland. It's not out of the question. Uh, but with Lord Godelming, we are now going to take the train, and we will take the train to Saragossa. Yes. Well, that's actually silly. Uh, we knew, we know that this whole time, well, that th at least that this is a harbor town. So let's move to a harbor town like Santander instead. Okay, we just got the train ticket, and we didn't find Dracula. All right, Doctor Seward will follow the same methodology. Go to a harbor town, Vana. Confirm. That was not where he was. All right, and Van Helsing. We could go to the Irish Sea if we want to catch him. I don't think we can make it to Ireland, so let's just move up to Liverpool. Mina Harker. We'll be taking the train. We can get to Florence. He was not in Rome. That would have been a silly place to be. So I'm going to bank on that. Move to by boat. No, 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 not by boat. Train. Uh, oh, we are, we are on yellow tracks here, right? So we cannot use the three here. Well, there's no point in using the train to get to Rome. Let's just walk normally. Or take a carriage. Lord Godelming in Santander over here. We can get new train tickets. But I'm gonna go to Bordeaux next. Hmm. Now let's go for train tickets here. Now we have to discard. You can only have two. I'm gonna discard this one. What I like to do with Godelming specifically is have one bad train ticket because he gets them really quickly and can sort through the, the the ticket discard or the deck much more efficiently than anyone else and find good ones for himself and so i like to keep one bad one so that it's out of the deck for the other ones when they draw tickets and you have to discard before you draw All right, and then Seward, you are you have four items now. Good items, by the way, but only two event cards. Could go for th another one. Though I do think we want a train ticket with you as well, and another good one, sweet. With the same mentality, I like using the best trigger tokens as soon as possible so that we can draw them again with when we do tickets with the other guys. Um, Van Helsing. Uh, we are drawing some cards with you, I think. That's a good old supply. We got dogs. Alright, we have a rifle. Garlic is interesting. Fast Horses is not one of the best. It allows you to draw a ticket and then move a number of roads up to the yellow number on that ticket. If there is no yellow number on that ticket, move one road and discard this card instead of returning it to your end. Like it, it's a good one, but having stuff like the dogs, which counters a ton of cards, or garlic, which is good in battle, then the Fast Horses is one of my lesser favorites. So let's just put it in the discard, get another card. Oh no, we already do. And Forewarned. I don't remember that one. What does Forewarned do? Play when you are ambushed by a non-vampire encounter card. Discard that card without effect. Very cool. Go 
boat. So we are gearing up and we're getting pretty well set for actually battling Dracula and stuff when we find his encounter cards. Now we just need to actually find them. Uh, we are supplying here because we can carry another event card. Pistol. Which means the knife might go... Oh, because we have holy bullets and this one can be discarded after you resolve a rifle or pistol card and then the vampire suffers three additional damage. Only one holy bullet can be used in each combat. And she already had a pistol, alright. No reason to have that too. Just got that. And we reveal newspaper and knife. Blood transfusing is drawn, okay. Reveal newspaper and knife. Dracula then. He is still sailing. No, he used a card. He used wolf form, okay. Just like I did when I was at sea. So he might not be in a harbor town at all here. Hmm. Now we can use newspaper reports. Reveal the location card on either the fifth or the sixth space of the trail, and we will. Add. Continue. He uses sensational repress to cancel that. Okay, can't be avoided. At least we now get rid of that. What does blood transfusion do? Play as an action if you are not weakened. Choose a weakened hunter in your city. The weakened hunter removes one bite and you suffer one damage. All right, that cannot be used on Mina Hargis, uh bite, by the way. We will reveal blood transfusion and knife. Speedy Telegraph, no. Alright. So we did not find the card on the, th the fifth space of the trail, but we have our ally in play, like they here in play cards. We have Jonathan Harker, so as soon as we uh, have a card on the sixth space, at least we will figure out where he started. But he's far away from that, and he's got another card here, plus one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Inland somewhere. Let us go to Bordeaux. Okay, we might still find this card somewhere. Dr. Seward, I want you to take the train. Down here by Salonica. That is not where he was earlier either. Alright, when Helsing. He could be in England right now. I doubt it, but you never know. Uh, but I am gonna go to sea here. Out to the Irish Sea, come on. Kind of hard to select. Select a location to move and Helsing by sea. I'm pressing. Oh. I made it blink. There. Kind of hard to select. Okay. You would think that you make the hitbox bigger when there's only one choice. Mina Haga, you are moving by carriage up here to Florence. Yes. Lord Godelming, you are going to be supplying to get an event card. Oh, and Holy Bullets is really nice. And steak. Okay. Heavenly Hose. Steak. We have two steaks and... Heavenly Host. If you are engaged, the engaged hunter and Fangs was played, you are bitten and removed from this combat, then discard this card. Otherwise, the vampire suffers four damage and then discard this card. That's so good. We are getting rid of the stake then. It might be a mistake. <laughs> Low hanging fruit. John Seward. All right. You can still carry more event cards, so let us supply. Hired Scouts. Ooh, that's one of the good ones. 
They immediately choose two cities to reveal. Okay. Hmm. Like, maybe we go for... What does that mean? Right now I can't click anything. Did we manage to find a bug here? I think so. It blinked just before. Now I'm not allowed to click anything. Uh, Dublin will show up for me. Okay. Cities will show up. Trying to find a hitbox here. That is too bad. It does not look like... Select a city to reveal if it is on the trail. Yeah. I cannot click on them. You gotta usually select a region first and it'll zoom in. And I'm not allowed to click anything right now. No. Alright. So now we're gonna do some troubleshooting here. We are gonna click here. Quit. You want to quit? Yes. Our first real bug of the day, local game. Let's see if we can fix it. Zoom. Yes. We managed to do it, it's fine. Let us reveal Sarajevo. Nothing found. Huh, we only got one. Alright, but we, at least we managed to not uh, end the game. That is good. Or we can say we allow we will manage to continue the game. With Mina, Mina in Florence, uh, we will supply. She can carry another event card. We only get event cards here, but it went to Dracula. Too bad. It is Emmanuel Hildesheim. Play immediately to assist or as an ally. If you assist, you look at the back of the top six event cards. Draw all Dracula event cards and discard the others face up. Oh, event cards, right. That's from the event deck here. And then ally, at the start of each Dracula face, if the top card of the event deck is a Dracula card, drop that, draw that card. Okay, that's, that's part of the reason why I wanted to get cards away from the top here. Very good, so we got it then. And what did he do? Oh, he's using it to draw cards, really. Uh, the ally is much more powerful, in my opinion. Roadblock. Place three roadblock tokens, alright. He did. Chartered carriage. Be play before you move by railway. Spend one of your tickets to remove up to four railways away. Nice. Revealed from deck. Not sure why these are getting revealed. They might be discarded right now. Choose card to reveal with Mina. Renewed. No blood transfusion and knife. I'm not sure why we saw these other uh, hunter cards. Uh, now we may play speedy te telegraph or surprising return because there's an ally in the discard pile. I'm not going to do either. In this case, uh, hitting submit will achieve that. If, in order to play it, we would have to add it like this. So no. And again, this is so. This is the same kind of character selection screen, except it's different. It's the same. If I hit submit this time, though, it will play the card. Now we have to hit the X. So you gotta be vigilant and know that. Basically, it's not very intuitive. If I click here, then yeah, those those cards were discarded. All right. Sister Agatha is an ally. After a dragon that resolves escape bad, escape is missed. Fangs or more fangs, he suffers two damage. All right. Wax cylinders. Only Seward can play this card. Play as deduction or analysis. Deduction is choose a hideout. Dracula must reveal all encounter cards in that hideout. Nice. Analysis. Dracula reveals the high power card from either location deck or the trail. Then return this to your hand. Return to the hand. Ooh. Great strength. Prevent bite or damage. 
chartered carriage. Oh yeah, that's the good movement guard. Very good. And we now see that Dracula was in Leipzig. All right. So, Dracula started his game in Leipzig. Then he played Dark Hall. Then he um, played a card in a, a harbor. That would have had to be Hamburg. Then he went to the North Sea. And from the North Sea he played Wolf Form, just like I did before. And then I moved to Leipzig, now he's doing it. And in fact he could move back and on land with it. He can move two with that, so it could be one, two. He could have been in Berlin, Cologne, Brussels. He could also choose to move shorter and go to Amsterdam. So there's four. I mean, hold on. He could be this far out right now, because he's got one more move after that. He can be in England, or as far as Manchester. He could be, because he went from the North Sea, he could also go into Edinburgh, and then anywhere in here. Alright. And then he has moved one more time, so he could also be going through Amsterdam and then one more as far as Paris here and with Mina's token we can say well he moved in here he might be as far in as Frankfurt or even Strasbourg from here oh that's the first one I placed okay, so here there wait what ah it's only allowing me one Dracula marker for whatever reason. Alright, that's fine. Basically, either England in Manchester, and if we check Manchester, we would know whether he went to England at all. So that's gonna be Van Helsing's job. The others will converge on Northern Europe. That's the only places he could be. It's kinda hard to see, but there's the English Channel here is separated right there. It's because I have my pin there. It's separated here. And since there was only one sea zone, he was not in the English Channel and couldn't be in the uh, coming in from the harbor here. He only had access to three harbors there, so we have sort of narrowed it down. Alright. So, Lord Godalming. He could be in Paris right now. I think it's fine. Oh, he would need to use the train to get to Paris. That's fine. Train to Paris. Oh, I couldn't choose which train ticket to use. I would have used the other train ticket. Huh. Card invoked. False tip. Play when a hunter spends a ticket token. If the hunter played chartered carriage, cancel that card. Otherwise, you choose where the hunter moves by railway. Okay. Okay, that tells me that maybe he was in Paris and that's why he used it, or it might be a deception. Sua, though, for sure, is far out of the way. And he could either go into the Ionian Sea, Adl Adriatic Sea, and then go into Venice. Or he can move up through Northern Europe. Hmm... I think we will move up through Northern Europe and hope to catch some trains. Meanwhile, like I said, Van Helsing will be going back into Liverpool just to make sure he's not in England. It would be stupid to leave England and figure out that he's there later. So meanwhile, Mina is in Europe and is relatively well equipped, so train. Uh, if I go by carriage, yeah, we won't make it as far. So we will go to Milan. He could not be here, but he might be here soon. Or in this general area. I want to keep our current ally, I think. So no. And Lord Gaming, now it's night time. Let us apply and hope for some good event cards. He got the event card, damn it. 
and sword leads a train ticket. Not a good one. Then a Van Helsing thing. We will grab another event card here. We got dogs again. That will be discarded. So now we have two. And another event card for Dracula. Okay then. Uh, and Mia would like a train ticket. Another good one. Now Dracula. Hmm. Devilish power. Play during the Dracula phase. Resolve one of the following. Either remove a consecrated ground, which we haven't covered yet, but that's fine, he cannot do that then. We can discard the hunter's ally, or he can say hunters cannot supply during the next hunter phase. Okay, I would discard the ally if I were him. And we're not playing anything here right now. Renewed vigor. No. Well, is this the time? Hmm. No, next time maybe. Okay. So, he played Devilish Power, and I did not lose Jonathan Harker, so he played it for... Ah, and so then playing it so that I could do more actions would have been really bad, because we cannot supply it all. Alright. So, that's interesting for him. Discarding the ally seems like to me like it would have been better, but whatever. Now, he played Misdirect. So if he was in Manchester, we would not be able to see that card if I move there with Van Helsing. But if he was in Manchester and then moved from there to here, he would have to either move to Liverpool, in which case we would have known because then he has to reveal when he moves on to 100, or he's in London. In Europe, it makes it way more trickier to figure out the path then. Um, Let's see, from the sea zone, the North Sea, he can now be one, two, three, four, up to four zones away from the uh, North Sea, which means three zones away from Amsterdam and Hamburg. So with Lord Godelming, we, th we thought that he was in Paris before. And uh, by the way, Dracula does not like this new fancy technology called trains, so he does never, he can never use a train. He, he doesn't believe in that kind of fancy stuff. So he, yeah, he, if he is moving from Paris, no, no moving to Bordeaux, but like clermont ferrand Nantes, stuff like that. We can't really get to anything from here. And if we go to Paris, that would have been where the misdirect was played, so it doesn't really achieve anything. I think Bordeaux would be fine here. For some reason we can't move there. Oh, there's no road. Well, that explains it. Let's take the train then. And then we might as well go to Paris, I suppose. No. If he is indeed in Nantes or clermont ferrand then uh, Bordeaux could be a, a natural next move. So let's zone him out by going here. Confirm the action. Seward, still moving uh, north towards northern Europe, for sure. Move up. And do we have a train taken here? Yes, we do. So take the train to London. Now we will confirm whether or not he was ever in England. He was not in England at all. All right, good stuff. So he's somewhere in Northern Europe, three so three three tiles away from Hamburg or Amsterdam. Mina Hager. If if again we assumed he was in Paris, he might be hmm. He could not be in Marseille right now. But Geneva, Zurich could be he could be in any of these cities here. 
One, two, three. So we're sort of gonna cover this choke point over here. I think Marseille is a good choice. Yes. Dusk. Surprising return. Why do we want that? No, we don't. Good. Then night. Lord Kadamling, we cannot supply it all, so it, it'll be mostly drawing train tickets here, which is fine. Train ticket. Train ticket. And Mina, guess what? Another train ticket. Getting rid of the one. Okay, and another one was born. Could have been the exact same one. Remove from play, devilish power. Alright. And he makes a normal move. Which may be a hide. So, during both day and night of this hunter phase, the hunters can perform actions in any order. That is tempting to do now. No, I don't think we need it, so let's just submit here. However, the new Vigor seems pretty decent, moving twice. We can't move twice, but we can act twice, which is going to be just fine. Reveal the knife. Nothing to play there. Then day. We are now in the second week. All right, let's see. Lord Godelling. We thought he was in Paris before. We cannot find that out now, though. He could be... This is where Mina would go, I'm sure. No. I think it's fine moving to Comoveron. Sort of sewn him out of the lower... of the southern Europe part. We did not find him here. Okay. Then we will supply... And we got excellent weather, which is for traveling at sea. Dr. Seward, you will be moving... Hmm. By carriage. Up here. Siskit. Confirm. And then just supply. Lucky fine, we're drawn from the top here, so we know that it's a hunter card. Helsing is going to be moving on to C, which means he cannot use his second action. Maybe that was misplay then, I see. Yeah. Minahaka, move by road. Yes, road to Geneva. I really thought we had him here, but mm, no, not there either. Interesting. We also now know that he was... Oh, this is Hamburg. We already knew that, right? That's before the sea zone. Dang it. Then a, another event card would be nice. Hired scouts. Okay, now we have some guessing to do. Good stuff. We may guess two cities. And if we guess correctly, he must reveal. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five away. But we don't have to guess the, the his fifth spot. We can guess any of them. And again, we don't think about Paris that much. But I think it, I would like to know if it's Nante. And I would like to know if he is sneaking down into Italy here. So let me see one. Well, it would have to be like this one there, I think. Munich or Zurich. We'll go from Munich. Nothing found. All right. Choose a card to reveal a knife. Knife. Uh, 
All right. Let me place. We, we guessed. Dante. And during night time here, we will want to draw. We can get another event card. Yeah, let's get it. Rufus Smith. I forget this one. Play immediately to search your location or as an ally. The ally is when Dracula moves from a sea zone to another sea zone. He suffers two damage instead of one. Now I think we'll use it to search another location. Search. Okay, we guessed Milan just before. He must have gone down this way. Hold on. Uh, Hamburg. Berlin. Then this one would have been the one he mis misdirected on. It could be in Venice. Nothing found. Huh. Don Sewer then. Another event card. Yes, he can have one more. Hypnosis. Now oh, there's a Dracula card on top of the deck here. On sea, at sea, you cannot do anything at night, so we just pass. Mina needs more event cards. Okay, that one's for Dracula, that's fine. Card to reveal is knife. He uses Dark Coal again. Uh, come on, AI. <laughs> He's killing himself, I haven't even touched him yet. Should have feed it instead. So heal three. Rats. Card matured. Uh, but that does nothing when it matures. Interesting. Hidden scheme. So play at the end of the darker phase. If there's a hideout on the third space of the trail, place an encounter track on it here. Hmm. And, and there's a rumor token on that, so there might be a vampire. Still not playing anything there. Lord Godelming. I'm kind of stumped. Where could he be? In this general area here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we already checked Milan. We already checked Venice. He must be like uh, the best he could be then is in Vienna. Vienna. One, two, three, four. Oh, he could be in Zagreb right now. Okay. Hmm. Actually, funny, funny story. Um, uh, not it is kind of related. So sometimes I play Geo with some of my other friends here, his streamer friends, and um, I do sort of well in in. Uh, do you guess it? Because I, I mean, we saw a, a, a road sign for Sakura on in one of the do you guessing uh, plays, and then I was like, well, that I know that one from Fury of Dracula. It's like in Eastern Europe around the Adriatic Sea. <laughs> That's the only reason I knew. Uh, it teaches me a bit of geography, which is kind of funny. All right, that's a sidestep. Let's see, if we move by... Oh, we cannot move by train because there's no train tracks leading to here. Alright. Let's go by carriage to Paris. Dr. Seward. Maybe we go to Zagreb then, and then up to Budapest after the fact? Look at his hand though, he's got so much going on for him. Lucky fine. Before the start of combat, choose a card. Before you choose a card, look at the top five cards in the item deck and place one in your hand, discarding the rest. Hypnosis. Only Mina Harker can play this card. Play as an action if you are in the same city as another hunter. Dracula must tell you what region he is in, then you become delayed. Surely we don't need that. We could also use the... Psychic Bond here. To tell you if it's in your, in your region. If we moved him, uh, it took him, her together with Lord Godalming, that would have been an option. We must be homing in on him. 
I think we go to Sakrib. No, nothing. Okay. Meanwhile, Van Helsing is just gonna go to land here in La Havre. He might also be in La Havre. No. Okay. Mina. Carriage to Zurich. Nothing. Okay. Godalming is still supplying to try to get more event cards here. I know there's a risk of him getting a card, but I always think it's worth supplying even if that's the risk. I mean, unless you have a full hand. There's some really, really, really good uh, Honda event cards that you want to get for battles as well and stuff like that. Holy Circle is not one of my favorites, and the Rifle needs to go with Holy Bullets, then we'll get rid of the Garlic. And he got the event card again. Dang it. Vampiric Influence, play immediately. Choose one weakened hunter, that's Mina, and has to reveal and then discard one of those cards and then move that hunter to an adjacent city. Alright. <clears throat> we reveal our hand and she's discarding blood. Oh, he's discarding blood transfusion. Okay, didn't really care. Reveal the knife. And he's moving her to Marseille. That's fine. Seward. What can we do with you here? We can try to get a better ticket. Get rid of that one and... Yeah, we do a 2-2 instead. Very nice. Alright. And Van Helsing needs more event cards, so... What well, didn't we have a card with you here that only Mina can use? Hypnosis? Yes. Let's take that one from Seward with Van Helsing. Yes. And he is going to take Hypnosis from you. Could take more. In fact, Forewarned would be really good on Seward, I have a feeling that Seward is more unlikely to encounter him, so then we might just give Speedy Telegraph as well. And propose trade. Accept Minahaga. We'll supply. Yes, to get another event card. Also got a Holy Circle, which we won't really care about, I think. Holy Circle is for avoiding combat, which can be important sometimes, I suppose, but usually you want to fight Dracula, because that's literally how you win the game. Choose a card to reveal, we'll go for the knife again. She got excellent weather, which is for moving extra on sea, or at sea. Dracula is taking a damage for going to sea again. Interesting. Surprising return. Play at dawn or dusk. Speed telegraph. I think we will play this now. So we will move in any order. I don't know how the computer actually handles that. Oh, it just means I can activate them however I want. Alright, so, I mean, he's at sea now, which means that this here is definitely a port. And this is two, two, two zones away from a port. Now, I'm pretty sure we just te checked Venice not long ago. So he is not here. We also checked Milan not long ago, so I'm sure it's not Genoa. In fact, I am fairly sure. Oh, this was Edinburgh. No way, he was in... in England all this time. Huh. No way. How? I was sure... that that was uh, impossible. I must have... 
miscalculated that somehow, unless you can play... I didn't think you could play hide after misdirect, but maybe that's what happened then. Dang it, I should have checked Edinburgh then. My bad. So I was completely off track. He, he's in England, or he was. Now he's at sea again. And so, so to be fair, he is for sure not in North Sea. Why? Because Edinburgh is here, and this, this is the only way to get into the North Sea from England. So he is... Uh, the, the port city here is either London, Plymouth, Swansea, or Liverpool. But we can be more precise than that, I think. He went from Edinburgh to a, a to Manchester, and then from Manchester he must have made a hide, because I was in Liverpool at the time, so this was a hide. Then he moved one time to a port and then to sea. So this card here is either London or Liverpool, but in fact I was in London at that time, so this card here is Liverpool, which means that he is in the Irish Sea. Unless I'm making another miscalculation. So, I mean, we're just gonna... That makes it way easier. We're just gonna go by boat. Why, why can I not? Huh. Okay. Let me try this. You're allowed to move. That's nice. Come up here. Confirm action. Uh... Seward, you go to Munich with the intention of going to Venice next, getting ready to sail somewhere, depending on what he does at sea. Van Helsing is gonna go to sea. There we go, to the English Channel. This is a vampire and it is on Manchester. I one, two, I think we can make it to Manchester before this one is matured. Mina? You will go to sea. Confirm action. See, he's down to 6 health though. So even though we haven't found him a single time, the AI is making some bad choices that makes it easier to... I mean, we're basically winning the game by not even finding him here, which is a little bit unfortunate for that AI. Let us draw and supply here. He got another card. Alright, Great Wolf. Aha, there we go. Choose card to reveal a heavenly host. Hmm. Little information would have been nice here, like we and this, it was the same when I was using the Great Wolf. I would like to it to pop up and say, "Who do you want to use the Great Wolf on?" It didn't really ask that, and then it's by the same vein here. It's not telling me that that you are being targeted by the Great Wolf. Do you want to reveal a card? It's just showing me what I can do, which is to reveal the heavenly host to, to block it. Not even what character is being targeted. So. <clears throat> I think it was Nord Godalming though, because his card got revealed. No. Interesting. Oh, it must be Lord Godalming here. Alright. Uh, we are on Seward. Seward. Oh, he can carry another event card? Yes, so let's draw a... One of those. Crucifix. Crucifix. Now we do want that, but he had he had one already, so we we'll discard the other one. And consecrate ground. Ooh. We'll get to that. At sea, we cannot do anything. So pass. And Mina pass because she's also at sea. He matures bats, again it does nothing, and he moved to a different sea zone. So if I deduced correctly before that he was at the Irish Sea, then there's only one sea zone that he could have just sailed to. And that would be the North Atlantic. So now we know that he is in the North Atlantic. Lord Godelming. Oh, Lord Godelming, you are going to go to the English Channel. Yes. Dr. Seward, you are going to be moving to Venice. Yes. Van Helsing, you are going to, by boat, travel to London. Try to get to Manchester in time. Nina Haka, you are sailing to the South Atlantic. 
this animation takes way too long, in my opinion. There we go. Lord Godelling. Pass. Dr. John Seward. You can supply. Play when you are ambushed by a non vampire encounter. Consecrated ground. Play as an action during night. Play as a consecrated ground on token on any city except for Castle Dracula, Galatz, or Klausenberg. Because those are next to Castle Dracula. Then, each hunter may reveal a Heavenly Host item card to place a Heavenly Host token in another city with the same exceptions. Okay. So what does a Consecrated Ground token do? It... I think if you place it on Dracula, there's some punishments for Dracula. Like, as in he, he takes some damage, I'm not sure. But then, at least he is not allowed to ever enter a zone or a location with a Consecrated Crown on it. So it's a way to zone out Dracula a bit. Heavenly Hosts are the same, but Heavenly Hosts are removed uh, in the either Dawn or Dusk phase where the Consecrated Crown stays around. So if we have Heavenly Hosts, we can do a little bit more shuffling with, uh, with those, but those get removed where the Consecrated Crown stays. So it's really powerful, and I think we'll keep it for now. So we we run into a, a kind of an interesting situation here. He he's got full item cards and full event cards. Might not even want to resupply them because then, then there's a chance that Dracula gets the card. And so it is looking like I might want to just pass unless we want to try to reserve a ticket. But we have good tickets. I guess we can get better. Let me reserve a ticket here and get rid of that one. And we got the same one, okay. I think there's like two of each ticket totems, by the way. Van Helsing is probably supplying, and yes. We also now learn that he was not in London when he went to, before he went to sea for sure, because then they would have revealed that location card as I stepped onto London, so he was definitely in Liverpool, which means he is definitely has been in the Irish Sea and is definitely in the North Atlantic. So we know exactly where he is. You cannot find Dracula at sea, of course, boats uh, like they don't meet up, so we have to wait for him to actually enter a port. Mina will pass because she's at sea. Now, Dracula, let's see where you go. If he goes to land now, and he did. All right, then there are what three different locations he can be in. Surprising return, no. All right, move. I see a boat. You are gonna go back here, Lord Godalming. The Hava, John Seward. So he he was in North Atlantic. Then he went to land, which means it's. Uh, oh, he's, he went with wolf form again. Oh, no. All right. But there's three ports connected to the North Atlantic. That is Galway. It is Nantes. And it is Bordeaux. And then he allowed himself to move one more. So he could be in the entirety of Ireland. Or he could have moved. Well, he's not in La Havre. But he might be in Paris. Clement Ferrand. Toulouse. Or even Saragossa. Santander. I don't think that we want to go to I'm thinking uh, I don't think that we want to go to Ireland if he's in Ireland he's gonna have to go to sea again soon and then I mean he doesn't have the health for that he, he cannot do that so I think we are going to pretend that he is smart enough to not go to Ireland. Um, from For John Seward, there's two ways to get to this area. We can go to Adriatic Sea, Ionian, Tohinian, Mediterranean Sea, and then dock over here. I think that's a bad way. We're going to go west. 
and we will do it by playing... We have the fast horses that we've never really used, but I think this might be a good time for that. Uh, we could also block Saragossa with a consecrated ground, but that's at night. Let me play the fast horses. Let's see that in play. Reveal this card as an action during the day. Reveal one ticket from the pool and move a number of roads up to the yellow number on that ticket. So that's going to be one or two. If there's no yellow number on that ticket, move one road and discard this card instead of returning it to your hand. That's fine. Let's do it. We got one. That's fine. So then we are going to Milan. Van Helsing is going to move up to Manchester. Wolves. And each hunter on the city suffers 4 damage. Each hunter may reveal weapon cards to reduce the damage by they suffer by 2 for each weapon card they reveal. Uh, oh. See, here's the thing that's different from the board game then. We often actually... This this card has to be revealed before you search. So in real life, uh, what often happens is that someone will go, well, I search, and then they get wolves and they're like, ah, I, I forgot to reveal my dogs. But here the game doesn't even ask you if you wanted to reveal, you get to do it after, which we usually also do, like being... being Usually you want to be lenient, of course you would reveal, have revealed your dogs if you had remembered it. So that's the lenient way to play, right? Because there might be a reason that you're not doing it. Like in 99% of cases you probably want to reveal your dogs before you search, because why else would you be carrying them around? And so, there you go. But in the board, uh, in, the, in the digital version, apparently it just like assumes that you want... I don't think I could even have chosen not to do it. Uh, so it destroys the wolf's uh, card completely. Discard that card if you're ambushed by uh, rats, saboteur, spy, or wolves. You may discard both this card and that card. Oh, then it discarded my dogs as well oh, because I didn't reveal them beforehand. Interesting. I don't think I had the option to. From here, we will go by boat to Santander. He might be in Santander right now. If not, then at least this is a way to zone him out a bit. Okay, he was not. All right. Lord Godelming. So he came in, presumably, from either Nantes or Bordeaux. And he could be in Paris. Ah. But we are not moving. We, uh, we have a night time here, so let's supply and try to get an event card. Oh, we need better tickets for him. Reserve tickets, yes. And we will go for getting rid of this one. <clears throat> and what do we get? A 2 2. And then we will discard the one, because he actually needs some good ticket tokens here. I think. 2 1, okay. John Seward. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Hmm. He's so well supplied that I don't even want to. We have crucifix, fast horses. Fast horses are not that important. Surprising return is really important to keep around. Lucky find is good. Forewarned is good. Consecrated ground is amazing. Oh, we can play the fo consecrated ground. Let's do it. Continue. And we will place that token in Saragossa. Then Lord Godalming reveals his heavenly host to also place one of those. And we will be placing that one in Toulouse. Alright. Now we have the first instance of Van Helsing. One of the hunters is standing on a location where we know that there is a 
card, Manchester, but we, we, we've seen the location card, and we know that there's a hidden encounter card underneath. We already dealt with an encounter card here, but that's because he played an extra encounter card on the same uh, space earlier, and he has a rumor token here, so presumably there is also a vampire here, right? And at least we know that there's a hidden encounter card. He chose not to ambush with this one. So, this is what you need the search button for. Uh, let me just check here that there's not something that I need to know beforehand. No, I don't think so. All right. So, we are searching. Yes, confirm action. Card invoked. Play when a hunter performs a search action. If there is a vampire encounter in this hideout layer, instead of resolving the encounter, that hunter is bitten. Then return that encounter card to your hand. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, not now. Please? Facebook? Alright. So, it was a vampire, but he is not gonna be able to mature that and get points now. What he gets out of it though is he gets to bite Van Helsing for free because he had a special event card just for such an occasion. And Van Helsing can take that. He, he can be bitten a lot. He's a, he's a, uh, he's got an iron will as it is. Uh, can we can reveal stuff here? Why? Sense of emergency, hypnosis. Oh, we have to reveal a card now because now he is bitten. Right, right, right. So we will reveal... Sense of emergency. And a rifle. And so he gets that vampire back into his hand, but at least it's not played. That's good. Or matured. Good. It is still nighttime, yes. So, Mina needs to supply. Yes. Land ambush, okay. Choose card to reveal. Excellent weather. And knife. He's down four health. Insane. Ah, but here he finally feeds. Surprising return. Do, 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 do. No. Feed means that he then heals three health, three damage. Heavily host removed from Toulouse, because that's the only one we had on the board. And so he definitely could not be in those two tile on those two cities here, because he would not at least be able to stay here. I'm not sure if he had would take damage or be revealed if we guess correctly with those tokens, but at the very least he would not be able to stay and feed. So we know that he's not in one of those. Lord Godelming is gonna, and again he is maximum of two zones away from this specific uh, card, so we will probably be sending Van Helsing to Ireland to check. I think we have to. Because if he fooled me with that, then we might even lose the game, which would be kind of sad. We're about to reach the end of the second week, and so time is running a little bit short. Um, we will go by carriage to Paris. Confirm that. We will go by... Mm, yeah, carriage to Marseille. We managed to deal with what was in Manchester, now we're moving to Liverpool, which we also see now up here. So, following in his track here, trying to clear whatever he's been doing, and we find some rats, alright. We take some damage, and then we reveal the rifle to kill the rats. Good. Mina Haga, moving to Bordeaux. No Dracula, all right. All right, I mean, he's either in one of these three cities here, or one of these two up there. We really narrowed it down at this point, which is really nice. But we are not finding him yet. Here we will supply in order to get that last uh, or one more event card. Uh, he 
doesn't need to have any hosts. And dogs will go as well. Play immediately or at dawn or dusk. Newspaper reports. Reveal the third location card of the trail, which we already know what that is. So that makes no sense. We're just gonna say keep it for later. Sewer then. Having four, only three event cards, so we will go and say get another. Also a pistol. Uh, we'll discard the fast horses. Hired scouts. Ooh, now we can guess. All right, let's just guess island. And he was in Galway. All right, Dracula revealed. Damn it, I, uh, I underestimated the AI's ability to make bad decisions, and then it, by virtue of that, it kind of ends up being a good decision, I think, a little bit. Um, he still, I mean, he's gonna have to go to sea again, right? And the thing is, these two zones are the, these two cards here are the cards that he needs to play to leave Ireland, so he can't leave Ireland for one, two, three turns. Interesting. There is no card on Liverpool, as far as I'm aware, no encounter card, no, we'll just rest with Van Helsing. Well, he does have room. Oh, he doesn't have room for an event card. Oh, that's bad then. We shouldn't supply then. Mina. All right. Well, you want an event card? Garlic wreath. We will discard. Garlic wreath is really nice. So I want to discard the knife, I think. The knife is good, but this one's blocks claws, which claws can remove the garlic wreath if we're carrying that. So we will discard the knife. And the pistol and the holy bullets in combination are too good to discard. Choose a card to reveal. Excellent weather. Hold it, bullets. Oh, card to reveal. We will reveal the garlic wreath. Target is receiving a card. Unfortunate. Summon storms. Oh, no way. Play immediately or at the end of the dark, dark phase. And he's playing it now. Place up to three storm tokens on the board. Hunters cannot move into a sea zone that has a storm token. <laughs> All right, let's see if the AI is smart enough to place them around himself up here. Not quite, but close. Actually, he kind of failed, for sure. Uh, chose a card to reveal, excellent weather, and garlic wreath. Okay. Uh, Dracula is now hidden, all right. But I mean, it's either a hide, so he's either in Galway or in Dublin. Um, not playing newspaper reports, all that. So he placed a storm token over the Atlantic, South Atlantic, and Ionian Sea, but he really needed one in Irish Sea as well to make sure that I couldn't get uh, Van Helsing over there. And then he could have kept me out for a good while. I can't believe he went to Ireland. John Seward, move with train to Bordeaux. Yes. Van Helsing, you are moving by boat to the Irish Sea. We are just going to go out and challenge him. We do need to get a move on. And now with Van Minahaga, we cannot get into the North Atlantic. It is impossible. So we are going to supply because the top card on the Dracula, uh, the event card is a uh, Dracula card, and so we might as well get rid of that one. Do it. 
We also get a heavenly host. Don't particularly care for that one. Well, that's not true. We kind of need it now that I think about it, because he has the great wolf. I think. I feel like it's been a while since we've been procked for the the great wolf, but. Yeah, no, I'm gonna discard the heavy. Uh, the heavy host is also a great card. I should have kept it. Better than the garlic wreath. The garlic wreath is good though. Regular discarding. What does plant ambush do? Plant the start of combat before you choose a card. During the first round of combat, after cards are revealed, you may return your chosen card. Yeah, a mason card. All right. And garlic wreath. All right. Lord Godalming. What do you do? If he goes to the sea right now, see, he, mo he removed the storm token, he removed the one from the South Atlantic. I still cannot sail around here and get to Ireland. We could sail North Sea. Say no English Channel, North Sea, but we still cannot go to North Atlantic. The only way would be to get to England, walk through England, and then go into the Irish Sea and then come up. But before then, the storm token will be gone. We supply. Yeah, he can carry an event card. It's fine. Surprising return again. Okay. Ooh, in fact, now we do want to place a surprising return because he does have to go to sea at some point. And that uh, other ally in the discard pile will be quite good for us at that point. So we should definitely do that. Should have probably even thought about that earlier. Seward can carry an extra event card, so supply. Another knife. Yes, another knife. That period influence card evoked. They immediately choose one weakened hunter. Hmm. You could target Van Helsing here? Yeah. Uh oh. Alright, and then he can move me to a city away from Ireland, I think. Choose a card to reveal. Sense of emergency. And garlic. Yeah, he moved me back into Liverpool. Alright. Too bad. So from here we can supply. We got good luck, play during day, resolve one of the following. Remove one rogue bug token, discard Dracula's ally, or cancel a false tip event card. Very cool. Now we reveal a sense of emergency and the rifle. Now I switch between them when it's not intended. It is still night, and Mina can carry another event card. We can use Psychic Bond, we don't want to. What do we have for cards? Excellent Vettel and Blaine Ambush. Let's just get another one. A rifle. The rifle trumps the pistol. I think, yes. Bullets are not super effective against Dracula in, in general, but uh, they can do damage. And they can deliver the silver bullets, which is very nice. Holy bullets. Uh, garlic reef revealed. Oh, we got hired scouts, which is kind of useless. I mean, we get to choose two cities and guess where he is? Okay. I mean, guess which two I'm guessing. Uh, I can't choose Galway? Oh. Well, he is in Dublin. He will reveal garlic wreath. And excellent weather. Again, garlic wreath. Oh, he took five damage? Oh, because he had no legal move. Uh, that can end up happening. And see, that's why I didn't like him going to Ireland. Because you can end up in this weird situation where you simply cannot move. Then, oh my god, AI. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so when you... And it can happen in the board game too. 
by accident and actually did in my last game and I'm very embarrassed for having done it, but I moved across a road section where there were no road. Uh, let me just show you guys. I moved... Uh, I, I, removed, I moved from Geneva in my last game where I played Dracula. I moved from Geneva at some point to Milan. And then later, my opponent was in Geneva and checked all the other cities and was like, well, how, how did you... How did I not find you here? I couldn't. Do it. And then I looked at it and like, oh, there's no road. Then in the, the book it says, whenever it's discovered, you have to reveal. And so I did. And what happens if you uh, cheat, it's called, sometimes intentionally, sometimes you simply cannot move. You, Dracula takes five points of damage. Then he is revealed. Then you clear the entire track, uh, except for the town that he is in, and then he... I'm not sure why Galway was re revealed here, but he, then he gets to make his move regardless. But, so there, the punishment. And obviously, that's not very good for him. Bad, Dracula, that bad. <laughs> oh man, alright. Not so smart AI. Oh, I was supposed to play that other ally. I forgot. Oh well. Go to Nante. We, I mean, we, as a day action, you're just gonna supply. Get that garlic wreath. Uh, that trumps the steak. And we got Mystic Research. Ooh. Which I believe is a Van Helsing specific card. Mina can have a, an event card here. So let us trade with Mina. And we are gonna give... Oh! I thought we had a Mina specific card with him. Okay, never mind. Uh... Hmm. Well, never mind then. Entry. Misclick. Or mis misplay. Decline. Okay. Let me just check. It do Yeah, there's no Dracula ally in play. I'm not sure why he lost his ally. Because I didn't play something to remove it, and I don't think it removes other any other way. Uh with Mina we will supply to get rid of this Dracula card on top of the deck here. Getting garlic wreath again. Uh, which we already had, so discard. Reveal excellent weather. And garlic wreath. Then we're discarding his card here. Then we reveal excellent weather and garlic wreath. Again, this is kind of annoying. Surprising return. Play it. Card invoked. We want Sister Agatha. No, Rufus Smith. Uh, as an ally, when Dracula moves from a C-Zone to another C-Zone, he suffers two damage instead of one. Uh, right now it's looking like he's just gonna die as soon as he moves to C. Alright, it's Monday in the third week, so it's still not impossible for Dracula to win this. But it's looking like it's gonna be really tough. Like he, he can feed again, going to five. And I mean, I will need to engage him in battle to kill him. So, I have to scar a card here. Rifle and the stake. Uh, and in battle, and technically, he could be really smart or really lucky and win the battle and just kill me. But we've got four hunters now homing in on him, so hopefully we get him. He literally cannot go to sea because he would have to sail twice, taking two damage, and so he needs to feed first. There is no other way. Can we carry more event cards here? No, we can take a train ticket. And with Van Helsing... We rest, of course, to get for full health. Important. 
Okay, and Mina can have another event card, so supply. We don't want the dogs. Get rid of them. And he got another event card, okay. And he places Roblox. Other places in Europe where it doesn't really matter, okay. Never mind. Excellent weather. In, fa in fact, you could have placed it in up here in between Dublin and Galway and it would actually have helped him, I think. Oh, he... Oh, he couldn't move again, is that true? I suppose not. So, the hunters have slain Dracula? But not really. <laughs> we never ever engaged them in battle. And I never got to show you guys how battle works in this game. That's kind of sad. And um, the results here... Yeah. This has been a demonstration of Fury of Dracula, the digital board game. Um, I would like to say to Nomad Games, I cannot endorse this game. It's, it's kind of... I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of the beta testing process. It has been very, very interesting. And I love this game. But the current state of the game is... I think it's actually kind of playable right now. Um, we didn't have any crashes throughout this entire stream, which is a big plus. Um, this, these might be the first Fury of Dracula games that I've completed, but to be fair, I haven't really played it for the last week or so, and it came out only a few days ago. So for the full release, it looks like the game is now fully playable. There's a lot of little annoyances, a lot of little like UI issues. I've been pointing them out here, and I will be sharing this game, uh, this, this stream here with uh, Nomad Games. Hopefully they take it too hard. Um, I cannot endorse the game. On, I mean, you would have to for those grievances you you if you, you've got to smooth it out a bit because i'm sure a lot of players will find them super annoying all these little things I, I can play it pretty well because i've been playing it a few times and so i know what buttons to click but i find it somewhat uh, counterintuitive sometimes what you need to click and some of the stuff pops up in your face all the time some stuff doesn't get explained to you what's happening currently so you gotta like be on your toes and keep everything in your mind which is not what you want out of a digital edition. There's a lot of good stuff here, and the I mean the artwork is amazing. Um, other than that, uh, you do not you don't buy this game uh, unless you have another friend that, a friend that you want to play with, or you are willing to. You you could probably go on the Nomad Discord and find players to play with. You 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 basically cannot play it against the AI and have a good experience. The AI is so bad at this game like the hunters will never find you and clearly this is not the first time this has happened to me that dracula just outright kills himself um it's a little bit sad the ai is un unplayable with you can't you can't play with the ai you, can, you basically cannot lose the game which makes it kind of not fun playing it with a friend is a good idea and then i think the game is not only playable but it's i mean the the board game uh, itself and by virtue, uh, like by, by extension, this game is amazing. It's such a good game. Uh, the the mind games that you can play with your hidden movement and the challenge for the hunters and the, the deduction of finding out where he's been and how to get to him and how to stone him out, uh, Dracula. Um, it's so good, and so it it, it kind of hurts a little bit that it's so. Uh, I wouldn't say poorly executed, but it's it's a flawed execution. And I'm sorry that it got released so early. I really hope that, it, I mean, it, it feels like it needs another month, if not more months, to, to like, iron it out. And I wish that they'd taken the time. Because I, I fear that people will be turned away from the game by seeing, uh, I mean, I'm just showing it at, at the naked truth here, which is, it's, it's kind of fraud. Um, I hope that you guys, Nomad Games, continue to work on it. It can be so good. You just gotta gotta find those flaws and and get it, make it better. I'm I'm gonna hold my breath and I'm gonna keep playing it until I can endorse it. Um, for now, I will thank you all for watching. 
and uh, check out my YouTube. It's, it's just going to go up on the YouTube. And so uh, you guys can watch it there if you want. And for now, thank you all, as I said, for watching. I'll be cutting off the stream here. I got another stream coming up in about an hour. 45 minutes. We're going to be playing Stone Shard. So stay tuned for that. But I do need to eat some dinner and such. So this is it, folks. This has been the Fury of Dracula. See you soon and bye-bye. Oh, I'm going to raid someone. I guess I'm not. There's no one online. Dang it. Alright, it's fine. Uh, see you soon.